Hey, what's up y'all? My name is Jack Arnold. I'm the owner of Arnold Electric Services and welcome to our YouTube channel. We're down here at a client's house right now and uh, we're standing in front of their panel and I'm going to talk a little bit about panel safety and we're going to talk about a couple things going on in here. We're going to start out with a uh, panel schedule here. So this is called the panel schedule and it's, it's important that this gets labeled for y'all. Um, this was labeled at one point, but it's kind of faded away. So it's this is important for you if the breaker trips, you know uh, what breaker to reset and you probably be able to identify what room uh, caused it. It's also important for your electrician when they come out on site so that they have a starting, a good starting point to do some troubleshooting for you. So if you're tripping a breaker, chances are you're probably gonna have to have an electrician come out sooner or later to diagnose what was going on. But this is a really great starting point for them. So, Let's take a look at uh, some of the breakers in here. So these are your regular, you know, branch circuit breakers here, the, the ones with just one handle. These have one handle also, but these are your two pole breakers. So these are for big pieces of equipment like your dryer or an AC. Uh, another thing I'd like to point out in this panel, which I'd love to see, is this is a surge protector breaker here. So this just gets mounted like a regular breaker inside the panel, it takes up two spots, but the green light is on and it's indicating that it's working. This is very important. Surge protectors protect electrical appliances in your house that you don't really think about plugging into a surge protection strip, like your air conditioner condenser, like your washer, like your dryer. All these fancy home appliances have a lot of delicate electronics in it, and this is gonna protect those investments inside your house. So another thing I wanna talk about too is that when I always recommend that clients exercise their breakers in their panel when you change your clocks during daylight savings times. So twice a year, you wanna go through and exercise your breakers and to exercise your breakers, all you wanna do is turn it off and then turn it back on. And you wanna go down the entire way and do that. Now, this breaker right here is a GFCI breaker. And just like I recommend that you test and exercise your GFCI breakers on your counters, you're going to want to do the same thing here and the way you do that is you press this button it flips the circuit that's how you reset the breaker you push it in the off position then you push it back on and that breaker is exercised uh, this is going to be the same thing with these arc fault breakers down here i'm going to press that to reset it you push it to the off position that resets it and then you push it on you're good to go so what, why do you want to exercise your breakers? You want to exercise your breakers so that they'll actually trip in a situation where it might need to trip. Speaking from experience, I've gone to troubleshoot and work on breakers that have never been exercised. So I go to turn the breaker off and I can't get the darn thing back on. Um, and then I have to tell the client we need to replace the breaker. So uh, that's why you want to, why you want to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the panel cover off here. We're going to do a little investigating inside um, and see what's going on inside the panel too. All right, so we're back here in the panel. Uh, we got the cover off here and let's talk about what's going on inside the panel. So it's very important that you have your annual maintenance and safety inspection for a couple different reasons and we'll get into some of the things that I see in here but initially I love seeing the duct seal in this pipe up here so this is creating a vapor barrier between the outside air and the inside air and what it's gonna do is it's gonna stop condensation from building up in the panel two winters ago there was so much condensation in one clients panel that there was frost growing on the outside of the panel cover so it was uh, it's kind of a hairy situation, but um, overall, this panel doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of uh, you know rust and condensation that's built up here, but one of, one issue here that you you would never know if you don't have your annual maintenance and safety inspection that there's um, corrosion on the main terminal lugs here of this panel. And what corrosion is going to do? It's going to it's going to create a situation where electricity isn't going to be able to flow appropriately through these wires and through the metal parts of this breaker panel. And what's going to happen is that it's going to get real hot. This wire is going to start to melt and you go from, you know, having to replace the interior of this panel to having to replace the wires all the way out to the meter socket. But um, 
overall it looks pretty good. There's a ground here. It, the craftsmanship looks pretty good. It could be cleaned up a little bit, I guess, but you know, that's not affecting the integrity and the operation of the system. So I'm glad we were able to take the panel cover off here and help this client out. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. We got a bunch of more useful videos out there. Thanks for tuning in. Jack Arnold with Arnold Electric.